In this video, I'm talking about the best towns and the best public schools in Massachusetts, where you should live. That's the most frequently asked questions. I get a lot of calls and a lot of emails from my YouTube followers. And the most frequent question is which town should I choose? If you have children and schools are important for you, this video is for you. This is Nune and Boston area homes. If you are new here, consider subscribing. I talk about Boston and the suburbs and real estate. Initially, I had 26 school districts in my script and I decided it's gonna be a very long, long video. So I decided to choose only 15, but the whole list of 26 that I've created is in a guide, which you can download instantly. The link is in the description below. Here is my list of 15 best school districts in Massachusetts within one hour drive to downtown Boston. My number 15 is Needham. Needham has a population of about 32,000. It has a dense suburban feel. It's 19 miles from Boston. Needham High School is number 27th in Massachusetts. Needham has one high school, two middle schools, and four elementary schools. There are also several Catholic schools in Needham. Linfield is about 16 miles from downtown Boston. With a population of about 13,000, it has a dense suburban feel. Linfield High School is 26th in Massachusetts. Linfield is one of the most prosperous towns in the North Shore. Westford is number 13 in my list. It has a population of about 25,000. It's rural and it's 25 miles from downtown Boston. Westford Academy is 25th in Massachusetts, according to US News High School rankings. Westford has six elementary schools, two middle schools, and one high school. The town was rated number 11th best place to live in Massachusetts by money.com in 2013. With a population of about 19,000, Sharon has a sparse suburban feel. It's 26 miles from Boston. Sharon High School is 24th in Massachusetts. In 2011, Sharon High School was awarded the National Blue Ribbon Schools Award by the U.S. Department of Education. Number 11 on my list is Manchester by the Sea. By the way, there's an interesting story when it comes to the name. Not to be confused with Manchester, New Hampshire, which is a much bigger city. Manchester by the Sea decided to change their name. It happened in 1989. So Manchester by the sea has a small population of 5,400. It has a sparse suburban feel and it has gorgeous, gorgeous beaches like the Singing Beach. Manchester by the sea is 33 miles from downtown Boston. Manchester Essex Regional High School is 23rd in Massachusetts. Winchester is number 10. It has a population of about 23,000. It has a dense suburban feel. It's only eight miles to downtown Boston, which will take you about 20 minutes. Their high school is 21st in Massachusetts. Medfield is number nine. It has a population of 13,000. It has a sparp suburban feel. It's about 29 miles from Medfield to downtown Boston. Medfield Senior High School is 20th in Massachusetts. My town, Belmont, is next. With a population of about 27,000, Belmont is nine miles from downtown Boston. It has a dense suburban feel. It will take you about 20 minutes to get to downtown Boston. Belmont High School is ranked number 13th in Massachusetts by US News High School rankings. And we have a completely new high school. Uh, it's state of the art, it's green, it's gorgeous. I have a video about Belmont High School. Make sure to watch that after. Number seven is Westwood. Westwood has a population of 17,000. It has a dense suburban feel. It's 24 miles from downtown Boston. Westwood High School is number 12 in Massachusetts. In 2005, Money Magazine and CNN Money ranked Westwood as 13th best place to live in US. With a population of about 18,000, Hopkinton is a very rural, nice town. It's 32 miles to downtown Boston. Hopkinton High School is 11th in Massachusetts. If your budget is under 800,000, watch my video right here. All the towns that I mentioned, they're up there in their prices. Number five is Weston. It has a population of about 12,000. It has a sparse suburban feel. 16 miles from downtown Boston. Weston High School is 10th in Massachusetts. Another very affluent town in New England. 
Harvard, Massachusetts, not to be confused with Harvard University in <laughs> Cambridge. Harvard has a population of about 7,000, has a dense rural feel. It's 45 miles from downtown Boston. Bromfield High School is number ninth in Massachusetts. I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, please like and subscribe. We're getting closer. Number three is Acton. It has a dense suburban feel. It's 25 miles from downtown Boston, which will take you about 40 minutes. Acton Boxborough High School is number 18th in Massachusetts. It has a population of about 25,000. Dover is number two on my list. Dover has a rural feel. It is 19 miles from downtown Boston. Dover Sherborne High School is number seventh in Massachusetts. Dover Sherborne High School was ranked third in cost efficiency and seventh in academic performance by Boston Magazine. US News and World Report named Dover Sherborne a gold medal school, ranking it 65th in the US. And number one, drum roll please, is Lexington. Lexington has a population of about 34,000. It has a dense suburban feel. It's 14 miles to downtown Boston, which will take you about 30 minutes to drive there. Lexington High School is number fourth in Massachusetts according to US News High School rankings. Lexington High School was ranked in 2014 as the 19th best high school in the nation by US News. Bridge Elementary School, Jonas Clark Middle School, and Harrington Elementary School were high-performing National Blue Ribbon schools in 2010, 13, and 19. If you'd like more information about certain towns, watch this video next.